The English word set is one of those words that has many different meanings. Today, we are going to learn six of the most common ways to use set. Then, if you stick around to the end, we will have a final burst of using the word set in our final statement. Ready? Set. Let's go. Our first way to use set is to place something or arrange something or when something takes a position somewhere. Here are some examples. I set the books on the shelf. She set the table for dinner. He set the pencil down on his desk. A second way that we can use the word set is to establish something or decide a time. Here are some examples. They set a date for the meeting. The company set new rules for employees. We set goals to achieve by the end of the month. A third way is to get something ready or get prepared to do something. Here are some examples. He set the alarm clock for 7 a.m. She set the camera before taking the photo. They set the stage for the play. How are we doing? Before we take a look at the last three, here's a little exercise that you can do to help me know that you are getting this. In the comment section below, write me one or two new sentences using the word set. Can you do that? I look forward to your answers. Let's get back to our lesson. Our fourth meaning of set is to adjust something, tune, or dial in a setting. Here are some examples. Please set the radio dial to your favorite station. He set the thermostat to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you set the volume lower on the TV? A fifth way to use the word set is to fix in position or change into a solid state. Here are some examples. The concrete will set in a few hours. The glue sets quickly, so work fast. The jelly sets in the refrigerator overnight. Another way to use the word set is to begin or start. Here are some examples. The race will set off at 9 a.m. sharp. The alarm was set off as soon as the door opened. Ready, set, go. Well, there you have it. Six different meanings for the English word set. You may want to watch this lesson two or three times to get the different meanings fully set into your mind. Be sure to share with your friends so that they can set their phones to study English with Frank. Liking the video will help YouTube set this lesson before new students. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can set yourself up for the next lesson that we will be releasing very soon. I will set a goal to have it ready in a few days. Set yourself up for success. Study English at least one hour every day. See you next time here at Study English with Frank. So long for now. <laughs>